So you finally decided you want to make a game. You've never done game development before, but you really enjoy the idea of making a game on your own. You maybe have a billion ideas for what your game could look like. Or maybe you have a very clear, specific image of a gameplay you'd like to develop. Maybe you have an interesting story idea, but don't know exactly what kind of game you want for it. Or maybe you have sketched out a cool character, but you have no idea about the story. So you decide to go for it anyways and start working on the game. So you do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, then you realize that maybe you want to change things around a little bit, so you restart the project. But maybe things were actually better the first time around? Soon enough, that excitement you had fades away as you realize that all the ideas you had were, well, maybe nothing more than simple ideas. You start feeling lost and you just simply lose motivation. And do you know why you lose motivation? I believe there is one big reason for it. Lack of clarity. Let me say it again. Lack of clarity will cause you to lose motivation. See, the lack of clarity is a cause and motivation loss is a consequence. And you know what's a very good strategy to remove a consequence from happening? Eliminate its cause. It's like basic physics, everybody. So today I'd like to address this very important problem and hopefully help you find a solution for it. I believe that one of the best ways to achieve clarity is to ask yourself some questions. So today, instead of just sharing with you some tips on how to get motivated, I'd like to share with you some questions so that you can find the answers that work the best for you. The following questions are in no specific order and I'd suggest that you find a genuine answer to most of them. They're all practical questions. Some of them can be even answered with a yes or no. Of course, you're the only one who has the answers to the questions. Nobody else has them. Also, by the way, it's all right to not have an answer to all the questions. I hope you'll still find some clarity nevertheless. What do you actually enjoy in a video game to begin with? Is it a very good story? Is it immersive music? Is it a very fast gameplay? Is it the possibility to play with your friends? In a similar fashion, what are your favorite games? What aspects of those games do you particularly appreciate? Be very specific. Um, to give you an example, I love how Hollow Knight handled the exploration and the overall visuals of the game, but I wasn't particularly blown away by the story. Would you like your game to be inspired by a specific title or genre? Or do you have a very new idea that you've never really seen developed the way you'd like before? Given that you have some sort of game idea, can you describe it in a couple of sentences? I challenge you to describe it a couple of times. Does the description change? That can be a very good sign that you haven't really decided on it yet. Is your game going to be 2D, 3D, or something in between? Have you actually taken the time to think about it? What's the overall tone of the game? Is there a specific atmosphere you'd like to achieve? Can you find a good example of that tone in another game that you maybe can be inspired from? Would you like to share a message with your game? If yes, do you know exactly what that message is? What would make your game worth playing? Is it a very fun gameplay? Is it an intriguing story? Do you see yourself having fun playing it? In case you have a story idea, does it actually work with the gameplay you're going for? Is there any change in the gameplay or the story that has to be made to make the game work? Among all the different features you'd like your game to have, which one is the most important? Are all the features actually necessary? Would the game still be cohesive and enjoyable without all those extra features there? What area of game development do you feel the most attracted to? Do you enjoy coding or do you enjoy more doing art, writing music maybe? Is there one specific aspect of game development that you feel excited about? Or would you like to try every single aspect of it? What can you do? What sort of skill do you have? Do you already have some coding knowledge, or maybe you're good at writing, at storytelling, at drawing? Just be honest with yourself. This can be a good starting point for your project, since you can potentially start doing something at this very moment. What skill do you need to learn? I'd like you to be as specific as possible. Is it a particular art style you've never tried before? Or is it maybe a brand new coding language? Once you've decided on the skills, what softwares do you need to develop that one skill? Can you afford them? Is there a free or a cheaper alternative for it? Do you want to make a game on your own or do you want to join a group of people? In case you'd like to work in a group, what specific skill are you looking in a possible game dev companion? How much time are you willing to spend working on the game? Can you actually spend that much time on a daily or weekly basis? There is no right answer here, but it's important to honestly identify how much time you can actually work on the game. Is the scope of the game honestly too big for you to either tackle the project alone or within a reasonable amount of time? Do you actually have some sort of deadline? When would you like to get a short, playable version of your game? 
Is it a couple of weeks, a couple of months, one year or more? This is a particularly hard question to answer, but I'd highly recommend you give yourself some sort of deadline to better push yourself to work. For example, I'm currently challenging myself to release a short, playable version of my game every four months. Of course, no one but you can find the answer to these questions. Maybe not all of them actually apply to you, and I'm 100% sure that there may be a thousand more questions, but I believe that already finding an answer to some of these questions will help you get some clarity. And the more clarity you get, the easier it will be for you to find motivation and to know exactly what the next step is towards developing the game that you really love to develop. And on this note, I really hope that this video was helpful for you. Um, if you have a specific question, that may help other people, feel free to share that in a comment down below and feel free to share your experience. We all struggle with finding motivation, but I believe that asking yourself some clear questions can really go a long way. I hope that you'll find the motivation that you've probably lost. And I hope that you all guys are having a great productive day. Stay safe during quarantine. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video.